Hello everybody, so today we are going to be doing the scumbling technique. Um, you might not have ever heard of scumbling, so I'll just explain to you what that is. So uh, it's also sometimes called the Brillo pad technique. So if you think about the hard side of a sponge, it looks a bit um, scribbly, things like that. So it's a bit less controlled and more random, and it involves using your pen or pencil to make lots of random squiggly marks to build up areas of shadow. And then it creates an interesting texture and requires a certain amount of looseness and impulsivity. So it's basically just a fancy way of saying scribbling. So you're going to be creating shade by using your pen and pencil, uh, pen or pencil to scribble. So what you'll need is a piece of paper, something circular to draw around, or if you've got a compass or like before, if you just draw yourself the best circle that you can, um, a pencil a or a fine liner pen or a biro. It doesn't matter if you've got if you've not got a fine liner or a biro, just use a pencil, that'd be fine. So here are some examples of what um, scumbling looks like. So like I said, it really is just scribbling. And, and you see as it gets darker around the shading, it's just um, more and more layers of the, scri uh, the scribbling. So you get less in the centre here and then you get it more layered up here. And as you can see, we've got our gradient here where it goes from light all the way down to this really dark bit. So it's really similar to stippling um, in it's that uh, mark making technique, but it's just using scribbling instead of dots. So um, you can create a whole picture using scumbling. So you've got a face, you've got a horse, and here we've got um, a cup of coffee in, um, I think it's in a cafe. So as you can see, this one is very, very well done. And then you've got slightly more simple versions and Again, it's just using these scribble marks to um, build up the shadow and the lines of the face. Um, so if you get your piece of paper ready with your pen or your pencil, and then we'll have a little practice. So I've done in pencil and in pen. So I've started off with just a really light scribble, and then I build on it here and here. And you can just see the difference between them where you've got loads more white showing and then you get to here and there's a lot less um, white showing. So if you just want to pause the video, just have a little practice. I think it should be quite easy because again, we're just scribbling. So don't really think about it, just go for it. Right, so step two and three, you want to draw yourself a circle. So I actually used a plant pot to draw around and then I'm gonna draw, and then you want to draw one in the top right sort of corner of the circle obviously circles don't have corners but this one I just drew freehand and this bit here is going to be where you have the least amount of scribbles because that's going to be where the the light is shining onto the sphere so it's the same sort of technique we did with the stippling of creating a 3d object using that shading so give yourself a minute to do that pause the video if you need to Right, so step four and five. So first one, you're just going to build your scribbling up. So your scumbling is going to start if you just do around the edge of your circle. And I've just done it quite lightly. And then I've just built it up. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing it in layers here. And I've just built it up again. So I've done one layer and then the next one. So pause the video. Give yourself time to do that. So step six and seven, again, just building up the scribbling. And you can either do it this way or you can just tackle it all in one. I just do it with the layers because it just makes it a lot easier and a bit more close together. So you're just working it round this circle. You're not putting any in here yet. You're just uh, working up to that bit. And in the next step, you need to fill this bit in. So all of your circle outside of this bit or just be covered in scribbles, basically. Right, so step eight and nine. Pause the video and go back if you need to, if you need to catch up or anything. I am building up my scribbles, but as you can see, I'm not doing it right to the edge because I want it to look like there's a bit of light around the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up on my scribble. So I'm just going over it again with my pen, you can do it with your pencil, it works with biro, it doesn't have to be black either, whatever colour it is, as long as you're showing that shadowing and the shading with the scribbles. 
And I'm just doing what I did before. I'm just going over it just to make it darker. So pause your video and get yourself up to scratch with that and we'll go on to the next bit. So again, I've, I've gone back over. So if you look, it's gone a bit darker here and then it gets darker and darker and I'm just building it up. So I always find it's better to do it in steps and in layers rather than you can try and do it straight away off the bat, but I think it is just it's a little bit easier if you just um, build it up over time. And then we're getting we're working our way into this circle bit and you just need to leave that little bit there. Because this this bit here is going to be your darkest bit and it's going to move in that gradient style. So pause the video again and give yourself time to do that. So our next steps, as you can see on this one, so I've, I've built up my shading there and then I've built it up a little bit there, but not as much as it is here. So it's a little bit lighter here because I want to gradually work my way into here so that our scribbling gets less and less. And then on this piece here, I've just built up a little bit around the side so that it blends together a bit more. So you're using, like you would with, um, say, a chalk, you might blend it with your fingers, but this one instead, you're just blending it by going um, a little bit darker here rather than having a really defined line. It becomes a lot less defined and it just blends in. So this bit here is your darkest bit. And then here, it's just a little bit darker, but you can see a lot more white. And then this little crescent, crescent here is just, it's just not as much scribble on top. Okay. So pause your video and get yourself up to scratch with that. And then we'll go on to the next bit. Right. So this is when we start moving in to this circle. So if you see, we've left it blank here and now we're on this bit and we're just doing very, very light scribbles. And you want to, so this will be, you're going to leave this bit completely blank. So it's a very small circle. And as you can see, I've done very faint scribbles and then it gets more and more, more and more layered. This bit here is where you've got the darkest bit and you see it's a bit thinner here and then it gets wider and then you're going to blend it in. So you're going to do dark, slightly less dark, slightly less on top. And then you've got really light scribbles. And again, we should all be able to do this because everybody knows how to do a good scribble. So you've got a bit lighter, you've got much, much darker, getting lighter, lighter, and then you've got nothing. And as you can see, it gives that effect of the light hitting it and it becoming a 3D sort of object. OK, so next we're going to go on to the final step. So pause your video, get yourself up to scratch on that and then we'll go uh, move on. Right, so your very final steps is going over your scribble. So you've got that real kind of de defined shading. So as you can see, it looks the same apart from the fact that this is just a lot darker. So I've done the same thing as before. You went over this bit where it's the darkest and you can really see the defined shape here where it, you're building up your scribbles each time. So the more you do it, the less um, of the paper you can see behind it. And then on this step here, I'm just building it and blending it back in on the outside and then on the inside here. But you still need to leave this bit totally blank so that you've got that gradient effect. So we'll all know what gradient means when we go back. So you've got to imagine that the light is hitting it here. And then as you get to here, it gets a lot darker. OK. So you've got lots of layers here so it's very defined here and then you build it up here okay so pause your video give yourself some time to get up to that final step go back if you need to rewind it if you need to start from scratch that's absolutely fine this is all a good practice for you and then finally you should end up with something that looks like this okay and then like we did with the stippling if you just move all the way back to have a look at it and you can see how much more effective it looks and how much more 3d it looks when you're far away from it and you'll be really really impressed by how good it looks um so as you can see in the middle here it's really light 
and then you've got that really dark shadow and if you want to build it up even more that's absolutely fine just make sure that you're blending it in so that you don't have a really defined line around it so pause the video make sure you can um, see the difference and then we'll have a go we've got a little challenge next so here we have our challenge so i've done here an apple and you've got the steps here so if you want to if you're happy with your sphere and what you've done you can either just keep practicing keep doing lots of different um spheres and you can change where the light is and just go over those same steps or you can have a go at this apple so we've got the steps here so first thing is to draw your apple and then like we did before we're just going to build up the shading so we start around the edge here and then you go on to this step and I've moved it around here where the um, I think that's the stem of the apple and then here what I wanted to show is a little bit of an indent and then here I've built up the scribble because this bit's going to be my light bit and this bit's going to be my light bit okay so it's the same technique of you kind of map it out first map out where your shadow is going to be and then you go over it so you go into this step so I've really gone over it here and then around on this bit up on the indent and around here and I've left this bit quite quite um light but I've worked a bit more scribble into this bit but so the scumbling it comes around but you've still it's very light here because you want that to be where your where your light's hitting it and then on my next bit I've I've gone over the stem. I've, it looks like it's solid colour, but it's just really close together scribbles. And then again, I'm going over all of my shadow and my shading, sorry. And I've, I'm just layering it up. So I'm scribbling over and over and over and making sure. So it's ended up going all the way around the apple, up onto this bit up over the indent and then around the edge and then I've just added some very light scribbling in here to be a guide for myself for where I'm going to do the um, extra shading and blending it in so these last steps that's where you're going to work on really blending it and really adding that dramatic shadow so that we know so we know that the light is coming down from here and it's casting a shadow around the edges and at the bottom so as you can see between this one and this one I've worked my scumbling in in here so it's very dark here and then it gets lighter and lighter until there's basically nothing here to show that it's really the light's really hitting it there and I've worked it there because that's a real shadowy bit where the um, sort of core of the apples going into and then on my last steps, I've really gone for it on my shading. You can do even more than this if you wanted to. If you wanted to be darker, that's absolutely fine. And then, so you can really see where that shadow is. And then you've worked it. So you've still got your light part showing there. And then you've got the darker shading all around the bottom and around the sides. And then that's your little guide to how to um, add your scumbling onto an actual picture so if you want to have a go at this challenge I would really love to see them and if you want to have a go at any other kind of picture if you just had a google of what you wanted to draw maybe even a face you could try it on your Frida Kahlo face if you wanted to um, and just build up wherever you want darker shading you're just going to build up that scumbling build up that scribbling um, and it works. You can try it with lots of different um, mediums. So you could try it with pencil, pen, biro. You could try even using a felt tip. As long as you're using that scumbling technique, it's going to look really good. And again, step away from it and have a look at your final piece from far away. And you'll be really, really amazed at how effective it looks. OK, so I hope that you've enjoyed your art lesson. Again, if you've finished with it, if you can do, take a picture and send it to Miss Frost or bring it back into school and we can have a look at that and we can have a go at some other types. All right, then. Thank you, guys. See you soon.